now we have this lamp on it is dim as we will adjust the speed the lamp is bright and we can see the voltage on multimeter and we can see the wave shape friends today I will discuss this voltage control circuit for AC motors it is basically circuit for county juicer and mixer how it works I connected a load to demonstrate when this switch is on from here when we rotate the knob basically it turns on the switch now we have this lamp on it is dim as we will adjust the speed the lamp is bright and we can see the voltage on multimeter and we can see the wave shape basically this circuit is a voltage control circuit it is a controlled rectifier circuit and then we will see the circuit then there is an option that we can take a full speed from putting it full right or by pressing it top knob here when we press this this knob what will happen it will make this contact here the line voltage are reaching here if we press this switch so this voltage will switch to the output terminal if we make this switch to full right position at that time the same way this voltage will switch to this line and it will go to the load the motor now I am connecting this lamp we can use this circuit for a soldering iron to control the temperature if we put a bypass switch that will bypass this circuit like it is bypassing from here and we are taking the full sine wave on the oscilloscope and we are taking 229 volt at multimeter or we can rotate this knob to the full right so here we have potentiometer now we will see the function of this circuit we have this potentiometer actually we are increasing the switch time of the sine wave we are taking half sine wave clipped sine wave using this rectifier and using this control circuit so it will adjust its switching time of this control rectifier and the motor is taking the slight speaks it is sine wave and it is using BT151 SCR silicon controlled rectifier so any rectifier it have one way conductor if it is using trike then it will pass the AC voltage to the output side but now it is clipping this negative peak first of all so that reason we are taking at full load we will take V in divided by 2 because it is clipping half peak second thing then we are controlling the conduction of this SCR if we set to minimum level we will just only allow to trig allow to conduct this SCR for this time so in the output we are taking just only this peak that is here then from the next cycle we will take peak here so it is skipping from this point to this area why SCR will remove this negative peak because it is connected a node and we are taking two cathode output and here we have BT169 SCR and we are con we are controlling the conduction time we are taking this voltage here to this but we are controlling the conduction time of this SCR here this is the switch which enables this circuit when we turn on this switch the voltage will reach to this zener diode I bypass this circuit so that it will turn on directly now I am taking 65 volt and peak is clipped 
if I am increasing, I am just taking 124 volt V in divide by 2. At full conduction from here to here, we are taking this peak. If we will adjust the potentiometer, the function, when we adjust this potentiometer, actually we are adjusting the conduction of this transistor and we are raising up the voltage at this SCR. From line to neutral, we have a capacitor here, 0.33 microfarad X2 capacitor and we have one mega ohm resistor here. So this RC network will remove the noises. Then we have this switch it will pass the voltage. So this voltage with respect to these resistors with this resistor these are applied to this collector through this 22k resistor are applied to this trigger and we have a shunt regulator here that is making a adjustable voltage here normal it is conducting when it will start conducting and we are adjusting the voltage potential difference at this point, this summing point. So this summing point difference and this positive peak will applied to this trigger because we are creating an offset from here. So this offset will apply to this trigger and how much peak out of this 24 volt, how much peak we are taking to trigger this BT169. So when it will trigger, it will sample because we are providing this time it will sample these voltage line voltage in positive from positive peak and it will apply to the trigger this SCR when the peak is in positive side but the trigger is removed at that time this circuit will disable moreover when the negative peak will come this SCR will reverse biased and the circuit will reset again this diode this 15k resistor is applying base biasing to this transistor BC546 we can use BC546 so BC546 or we can use any transistor with this voltage range base collector emitter So we have BC546 collector base emitter. If you put number in front side, collector base emitter and BT169D cathode gate anode and BT151500 500 volt 7 ampere SCR cathode anode and gate. And this micro switch here because it is for a juicer mixer, when we put a jug on the machine then this switch will make and it will allow to pass voltage to the motor this is the output for the motor the load is connected between neutral and output point output point is secured through this micro switch I connected this oscilloscope at uh, these two points and multimeter and these two points for my test lamp here I will upload this diagram and you can find the link in the description you can download it and maybe it will be useful for someone. I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button. If you have any question please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.